our goal is to really create a system within primary care where a patient is feeling supported and is addressing their mental health care needs, and that could be for depression, for anxiety, for other mood disorders, and being supported through their treatment process over the next eight or plus weeks. I'm reminded of a physician, she was very frustrated with her resources and what, where she could direct people. And she said, you know, I've kind of become jaded over the years just because I don't want to screen these patients for depression because I don't know what to tell them. I know whatever I can offer them isn't enough. So I've kind of stopped thinking about it. And she said, for the first time in a long time, you're making me think about it. I think there's an air of people waiting for this sort of solution, you know? Um, even people who may not know that they have these needs or people who may not know that um, what technology can really offer them are expecting technology to come in in a big way and help them in, in whether it's mental health or physical health or all these other things that matter is trying to help solve. I believe personally that the state of mental health care in this country is a little bit shameful. You know, I think it's an issue we all know how to talk about. It's a problem that I have no trouble selling to people. I want to live in a world where um, mental health care is spoken about by all people. Um, no matter your income level, no matter whether you live in, city, in an urban population or in a rural one, but one where everyone is kind of just, it's a status quo to take your mental health care seriously, and I think actualized therapy is the step in that direction.